Tahia is a is a community. It's not just a school, and it has always been a community to imbibe the Jewish identity, not specifically um, being religious, but being Jewish in uh, a multicultural world. Berkeley is a multi very multicultural world. They would sing nothing but Hebrew songs. <laughs> <laughs> they would throw out Hebrew words. They knew how to read Hebrew. They didn't have to go learn how to do it. It was part of their daily lives at Tafia. There are a lot of people who aren't particularly religious, but do relate to Jewish customs, Jewish traditions, Jewish history, and want their kids to know a little bit about that. Putting that into um, a, a child's being, you can't just do it. It has to be part of the environment as they grow. So a Jewish day school had that. We want it to be a very inclusive community so that anybody would feel comfortable at Tahia, not just Jewish children, but all children who wanted to come for a great education. It was a great school. We hired good teachers and, and kids wanted to come. Kids enjoyed coming to school, you know, and the word spread. It's a unique kind of person who teaches at Tahia. They are committed, they are involved, they are engaged, they are a mishpucha, they are a larger extended family. It's, they're not just the professional staff that goes home at the end of the day. One of the reasons I stayed up for a while was I wanted to have the siblings of the children I had and then it occurred to me that there would always be younger siblings coming up. And occasionally they come back and visit and that's always wonderful. So all of you kids out there, come back and visit. Several have actually been faculty members here at Tahia, and what a thrill it was for me to have someone who I taught in fifth grade walk through the door and be introduced as the brand new sixth grade teacher. It's wonderful to see how they've turned out and what they've become, and we hope that you know we've had a small part in that, and that's wonderful. And I love the families, and I love learning every year is a new year for me. It's a new experience. Um, every year is a little bit different than the year before. They've been my greatest teachers. That's how I feel about them. Now get it over here. My community, my environment today, 30 years later, is in fact mostly comprised of people from Tahia. How do you make really good friends? And, and one of the ways it is to work with people together on a project that you're all doing together. And, and that is how we've made our, our best friends, is working on watching this school grow. When we started, there was 13 kids, one, one rented room. The cost, our capital cost, was a dollar an hour. Uh, but we had no equipment or anything. And I remember Joe Gustin and I hammers and nails, wood, putting together tables and chairs. When we were on the 6th Street site, mm -hmm. coming in with a group of people in a sledgehammer, <laughs> knocking down the walls so we could expand the classrooms, <laughs> now, what are we doing? Years, years, years later, um, when I first entered this, the new, I guess it's the gym, I walked in there the first time and then the first thing that hit me was remembering the first school, and I said, oh, we have come quite a long way. A whole bunch of us have been part of that, and it's just been a great joy, and a way to, to be part of a wonderful community. If that same spirit can be brought up with the next set of parents, and the next set of parents, and the next. You've got something so special that of course it will perpetuate, and grow, and, and always have uh, caretakers in the sense of the parents. And that is, in fact, what happened.